What's up, boys? Back again. It's your boy Chester here, the Classic Gamer. We are going today to show you the ashes of a LAR mount. It drops off of the eye out here in Netherstorm. Um, as you can see here, it's in the Outlands. You just fly over to Netherstorm, and it's right here. I have my little marker on it. There you go. Um, and, uh, of course, being that this is a an old raid, you don't have to worry about heroic or mythic. None of that. None of that. It, it drops off of 25-man normal. And it drops off of Kel'Thas Sunstrider, the last boss. Obviously, this is the mount here that we're going for. Um, so let's go right off in here and see what we got here. There we are. All right. So we're just gonna go in here. This is the entrance right here in the middle. There's always people sitting outside. People farming this mount for years and years to come, I'm sure. Um, it took me many, many, many runs to get this mount, but um, I actually got this mount back in uh, a Cataclysm or something like that. I got it, I got it way back. So. Um, so in here, you don't actually have to kill any of these bosses if you don't want to. And you're going to see this boss right here, Alar. Um, looks just like the mount unfortunately he does not drop the mount but he looks like it <laughs> so it's very deceiving um, but we're going to go through here and uh, you can skip straight to Kel'Thas if you wanted to you don't actually have to kill anybody but usually you're going to aggro some of these mobs so just run through no big deal now I used to go through when I was running it I used to go through and kill everything just because for the gold you know or whatever to make it worth my while because i never expected the mount to drop you know uh, um so but it's entirely up to you. you you can run past it all or you can kill them all however you want to do it so uh let's see try to speed this up a bit here for you but you know how i do my videos i don't like to like skip through them or anything like that i want you to see every step you got to take especially in some of the future runs that we'll be doing because those are a little bit more involved on knowing which direction and whatever um, to make it faster so um, but i like to do that with every video because so many of the mount farming videos that are on youtube nowadays they either don't show the run at all or they only show the boss where the mount drops or whatever you know so um, a lot of those videos I, I didn't find very helpful back when I was doing these mountain runs. So, there we go. And there we go. Now, I do a lot of these on my mage. That's strictly for the convenience of being able to port my way around to the different continents and cities. Um, but obviously, you can do it on whatever tune you choose. Um, now, I do usually kill these guys on both sides of the boss just because you don't have to, but I do it. I don't know. It's a habit, I guess, from when I used to run this all the time back in the day on every character. So, we should go up here and get this started. And yes, he has quite the role play that he likes to do, just like the guy for the Swift Hawk Strider. Um, his is just a little bit longer. Um, he has to go through his phases and they'll start attacking you. Um, but, you know, there's nothing to it. Let's have a look. Oh boy. I'm up here. caught me off guard on that one. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I like the way she died before she finished casting, but she still had to finish. Thank you. 
Yeah, in case you couldn't tell, you're not supposed to be able to kill everything this fast, so it takes him a while to continue his little speech, you know. But for the era this game was made in, being that this was BC, these are beautiful graphics, you must admit. <laughs> it's a beautiful run for the time that it was made. There we are. Now I'll just finish him off. And of course, loot and hope for your best. Cross your fingers. Hope you get the mount. Um, like I said, this, this one is another one of those coveted mounts that takes, you know, you might get lucky, get it on your second or third run. You may run this for months until you get it. But it's a super easy run. It's super quick. Not a whole lot to know. Just go straight to the last boss. Let him do his little RP thing and kill him. Um, so, you know, just uh, good luck on your mount farms out there, guys. And uh, I'm trying to get these videos out. I was down for a couple of days because I was sick there. But I'm, I'm going to start working on getting a few more out for you. And, uh, of course, we'll be doing, like, the Invincible and, and, uh, and quite a few other mounts uh, coming up. And I appreciate all the views that I've gotten over these past couple of days while I've been sick. It's been very encouraging to see that. And I would really appreciate everybody just hitting the like and subscribe button on there. We're trying to get this channel moving as quickly as we can. And I appreciate everything everybody's done so far. Hope you enjoy the content and hope to keep you all enjoying the content for the future videos. Thank you.